In today's video, I'm making milky yogurt. And for that, I'm using 450 grams of flour, one third cup of sugar, one large egg, a cup of warm water, one tablespoon of yeast, one teaspoon of salt, 200 milliliter of warm milk, 25 grams of butter. Firstly, we're mixing all our ingredients together. After adding the sugar, adding the yeast and salt, Now, put a hole at the middle, breaking the egg. Make sure you sift your flour before using it because I feel sifted it off camera. Very important to sift your flour before using it. Transferring it into this bowl. I just bowl, stop spilling. So I'm using my hand now to bring everything together. When I, so I add the milk and mix together. You can see that the thing is still very thick. So I'm adding our warm water now in a little bit. Make sure not to pour in the water at once so that the dough will not come out too sticky. So I'm needing it now. It's no longer as sticky as it was. So after kneading it for some minutes, see what our dough looks like. You see it's no longer sticky so we'll just place it in our bowl and let it to sit for some minutes after placing it on our greased bowl we'll cover it and let it to sit for a few minutes now we'll prep the other ingredients for the milk filling for the milk filling i'm using one cup of condensed milk one third cup of powdered milk and half cup of liquid milk so we'll mix everything together So I'm making some balls out of the dough. At this point, I'm also scale them to make sure they are all of the same size. So they will fry and come out evenly. So I'm going to be measuring them to make sure they are all of the same size. So this one is 102. I'll take the, pick the next one. Same size, 102. Picking this one now, one or two, so all of them are of the same size. So after I'm folding it to make a ball, we'll cover it with a cling film or a kitchen towel. I like it to rest for 30 minutes to double in size. So you can see the consistency of our make filling. You can see how it is. Not too runny and not too thick. And this is 30 minutes later. The dough has doubled in size. Place a pan, fine pan on the fire. Make sure the oil is not too hot. While we fry our donuts. So make sure your oil is not too hot so that everything will cook evenly to the middle of the donut.
right now i'm rolling my donut in the milk next we'll be filling it up with some milk filling pour my milk mixture into a piping bag so i pour my milk into the piping bag i'll just cut the tip of it like this and i fill the donuts with the milk 